see? Everybody forgot about this, didn't they? Oh, he's been in there a long time. <laughs> All right, here it is. The most requested turn I have gotten messages and emails about. You may recall, this is the giant 17 and a half inch blank. It is all dried. I put it in kitty litter to see how it do. It got a few cracks like right here with a thing right there, but I think it's all right. We're going to go ahead and turn it, leave the cracks. Uh, but first we got to true up this uh, tenon right here and then we'll get up on the lathe. So come on over. All right, this thing's been drying in kitty litter for a good year or so. And uh, it's still out of 13%. About 13% inside. Well, 12.8 on the inside too, but that's fresh cut right there. Let's get to turning this, baby. I'm gonna pull the tailstock forward to start off with. We're gonna, uh, I hate to do it, but I'm gonna use some carbide on this. As we... it's way too fast for that. I'm gonna slow it down. that stuff hurt freaking hard as a rock Jeez. this bowl is going to end up being so thin it warped too much i should have made this about an inch thicker All right, I had to put my banjo on the other side, so. All right, that's enough for tonight.
All right, it's time to sand. And I've got these three inch pads that I got a while back that I've never used. I don't have any three, three inch discs. So I have to end up taking one of these and then I can cut two two inch ones out of here also. So it is what it is. All right, it's hard to get the, the whole bowl into this video shot. This thing is giant. But we're going to go ahead and put some sanding sealer on here because I'm going in. I'm going to have some beer and some chips and have a good night. So just put enough in here to swish around. Plus, I got to get the fibers done up here. I'm almost out of sanding sealer. I got to go down to Woodcraft to get some more. Damn, look at this grain though. Alright, so I just had to lay back or spin it backwards so it undid it. <laughs> It's about time for some wood porn. You're doing good. You keep going the way you're going, yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. That scared me, it almost came off, and well, that was weird.
I'm gonna tighten this back up and then I'll be right back. Oh, boo. <laughs> Here it is. Uh, as you saw at the beginning of this, I forgot about, about this thing. I put this into some some kitty litter oh, months and 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 months, months, months ago. Uh, it's white oak. It was from a downed tree. And I don't think I have the pictures, but if I do, I'll put the pictures of the car it was on. It fell on a, on a friend of ours car. And I turned it rough. And then we put it in the kitty litter as an experiment. And I forgot about it. So it is what it is. So it started off at 17 and a half inches. It did get warped. It is right below 15 inches and about five inches tall. So I love it. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I don't know. Uh, I do believe, to be all honest with you, I believe that I'm going to redo the inside and I'm going to put lacquer in here. I'm going to uh, take it with some some uh, steel wool and take it down because I, I can actually see some of the swirl marks in there. So I want to get rid of those. But I used a little bit of Starbond to fill the holes. All right. I've been uh, posting stuff about this one and all my other uh projects over on Instagram and Facebook. You can go right down there. I also now have a TikTok account. Well, I had one and somebody was stealing videos, so I had to go back on there when I got off and so I could get them taken down. But I've been posting a lot of stuff over there on TikTok. You can friend me on TikTok. Uh, it is at Moon Pie Creations. I know, I know. Uh, they're going to steal all of our information. Mm, I know. All right. Well, it was a blast turning this thing a little bit scary at times. But I appreciate you watching. Uh, I'll see you in the future. And I hope you have a great weekend. And stay cool.